Gruebler criterion paradox. Gruebler criterion is used to measure degree of freedom of planar mechanism. According to it, degree of freedom of a planar mechanism, m, equals 3 times l minus 1, minus 2 times j1, minus j2. Where, m, is the degree of freedom or mobility of the planar mechanism? L is the number of links in the planar mechanism. J1 is the number of joints having one degree of freedom. J2 is the number of joints having two degrees of freedom. Now, we will discuss the paradox. Gruebler paradoxes are the linkages that do not behave as predicted by the Gruebler equation. Example 1. Consider parallel crank 4 bar mechanism. Number of links in this mechanism equals 4. Number of joints having one degree of freedom equals 4. Number of joints having two degrees of freedom equals 0. Therefore, by Gruebler criterion, degree of freedom of this mechanism computes to 1. Now, this mechanism can be extended to include one more link, as shown. All the binary joints have equal length. This mechanism still has one degree of freedom because of its unique geometry. However, with Gruebler criterion, degree of freedom of this mechanism computes to zero. Number of links in this mechanism equals 5. Number of joints having one degree of freedom equals 6. There are no links having two degrees of freedom. So J2 equals zero. Hence, by Gruebler criterion, degree of freedom of this mechanism computes to zero, which is actually one. So, Gruebler criterion is not applicable to this mechanism. Remedy. Only two of the binary links are necessary to define the motion of this mechanism. That means, even if we remove one of the binary links, motion of the mechanism remains unaffected. Therefore, one of the binary links is redundant, as it does not decide the output of the mechanism. So, effective number of links equals 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. To calculate degree of freedom, remove the redundant link. Here one of the links 2, 4, or 5. Let's remove link 5. Now, let's calculate its degree of freedom. Effective number of links equals 4. Number of joints having one degree of freedom equals four. Number of joints having two degrees of freedom equals zero. Therefore, by Gruebler criterion, degree of freedom computes to one which is in agreement with the actual degree of freedom for this mechanism. Let's consider another example. Joint between two wheels can be postulated to allow no slip, provided sufficient friction is present. If no slip occurs, then this joint has only one degree of freedom, or it is a full joint, which allows only relative angular motion between the wheels. Now, let's calculate its degree of freedom. Number of links in this mechanism equals 3. Number of joints having one degree of freedom equals 3. Number of joints having two degrees of freedom equals 0. Therefore, by Gruebler criterion, degree of freedom of this mechanism computes to 0. However, this mechanism has one degree of freedom, because the center distance, or length of link 1, is exactly equal to the sum of the radii of the two wheels. Hence, in this case too, actual degree of freedom is not in agreement with that predicted by Gruebler criterion. We discussed two examples in this video. There are other examples of paradoxes too, which disobey Gruebler criterion.
This is because the Gruebler criterion doesn't take into consideration shape and size of the links. So, it can produce misleading results in the face of unique geometric configurations. The designer needs to be alert to these possible inconsistencies. Also, watch these videos.